Welcome back to another level grind let's play. I am Al Zero and this is Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Last time we played we started our investigation into Sakura's murder. Uh, we've only investigated the rec room so I don't know. Shit's going down. Let's continue on. She said that she left a note for each of them. She asked them to meet her in the rec room by noon. By noon? The Monokuma said she died right around then. I'm telling you the truth, I heard it right from Sakura herself, and I tried to stop her, but she wouldn't listen. She said not to worry, that just wanted, she just wanted to talk to them, and this is what happened. If I stopped her by force even, this never would have happened. He, Hina, baby, no, don't cry. It's impossible not to have any regret, to not have regrets, I know. Oh, I got her account. But the fact that she has asked those three to meet with her. She asked them to come to the rec room at noon. The same time and place she'd end up dying. Might be good to confirm what I just heard with the three of them directly. Uh, okay. Well, I guess I could talk to Toko or to Byakuya. Hey, let's go down the list. Let's go talk to Toko. Demi. But for Sakura to have been killed. Yeah, she's not the type who would go down without a fight. So she certainly didn't, I would say. She was the ultimate martial artist, a strong in body, mind, and spirit. So how was the killer able to get the upper hand on her? I wonder, did someone get the upper hand? They must have taken her by surprise, right? Certainly, they would have needed if they expected to stand any chance against her. Alright, talk to Brachio. What do you want? You're bothering me. Um, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. <laughs> Make it quick. Is it true that Sakura asked you to meet her in the rec room? <laughs> so you found out. Interesting. Then it's true? <laughs> I did receive a note to that effect, yes. But what fool would do what it said and risk being killed by that monster? So you didn't go see her? <laughs> of course not. I ripped the note to shreds and threw it away. I haven't seen Sakura today at all. Yeah, guess I didn't see her. Is that the truth? Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as fact. Boy. If you're all finished, please remove yourself from my sight. Okay, thanks. Damn, calm yourself down. Alright, let's check out this thing on the ground here. What does that say? Chem A2 Protozyme X. It's some kind of plastic container rolling around near the entrance of the room. Looks like a protein drink is it, empty. Sakura must have drank. Oh, Sakura must have drank it. Everyone knows how much she loved her protein. She mentioned more than once how protein was good for all sorts of ailments. I wouldn't take that to heart if I were you. I know. But still, this protein can. It's got a label on it that says Chem A2. That reminds me, Sakura mentioned how the Chem Lab had all kinds of health stuff. So she must have gotten this from the Chem Lab. That's strange. Huh? What is? Nah. You see what's scattered around the can? Shards of light blue shards of light blue glass. They must be part of the window I broke to get inside. So. But they aren't just scattered around the can. They're also underneath it. What does that matter? Soreba. I can't say for sure yet, but you're probably going to want to take note of it. I feel like it could become an important clue later on. Important clue? I'm not sure I see how. Oh, oh, because when you broke the window, it wouldn't. There, why would it be underneath the can if it's not in the way of the door? Which means it fell there afterwards. Or something. I don't know. Is that it? Wait. Oh, there's something else on the chair. The chair was shoved up against the doorknob, so we couldn't get the door open. There's no evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used on the chair. In other words, there's no reason to think the chair had anything special done to it. This door is the only way in or out of the rec room. The door doesn't have a lock, and there's no evidence that the mountings have been tampered with. The only notable change to the door is the smashed window. Which happened, of course, when I broke it to get inside. There's no evidence that any kind of string or mechanism was used on the door. In other words, I don't see anything suspicious about the door itself. Hmm. 
Having examined both the door and the chair, there's no doubt the reason the door didn't open was simply because the chair was shoved up against it. This kept the doorknob from turning and the door from opening, and there was no evidence of the door or chair being tampered with or anything like that. So the killer must have created the locked door from, in from the inside, not from the outside. Okay. Oh, okay, I got it. Has me on truth bullet. Okay. Uh, is that it? I don't think there's anything. Oh, oh the time. I guess I gotta look at the clock. It's around 1 o'clock right now. According to the Monokum file, Sakura died around 12 noon, so roughly an hour ago. Was that when Kyoko and I were moving Alter Ego? She probably shouldn't say that out loud. Is there something else? Oh, I haven't checked Sakura's body! Sakura drew her last breath, sitting slumped forward in this chair. There's obvious evidence of the blow to the head Sakura suffered. Normally, I wouldn't have any problem believing that that was what killed her. But according to the Monokuma file, she had also vomited blood. I can see a trace of blood from her lip for sure. So what would have caused her to vomit blood? The Monokuma file specifically said she hadn't suffered any other injuries. So that's Sakura's body. Maybe her getting hit on the head somehow caused her to start vomiting blood? <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> However, your eyes landed on our most interesting location. Interesting? <laughs> yes, most interesting, don't you agree? No, I don't think I'd call it interesting. But it does make me wonder. The reason Sakura vomited blood absolutely has to be connected to why she died. Yeah. Well, Makoto, have you finished your general investigation? Yeah, I think so, for the most part. Yeah. Then you should probably go talk with people now. I'm on guard duty, so I can't leave. Which is why I've decided you'll go in my place. She decided? She's gotten a lot more pushy since we had our issue. But she's right. I do have to go talk to the others. Sakura wanted to meet with the other two other people. I need to hear what they have to say. Alright, well, let's get the hell out of this room. Okay, so I have to talk to Toko and I have to talk to Hiro. The other two probably went back to the... Oh, I gotta go to the rooms? Oh, oh, well, thank you for actually bringing me here. Let's see. I know I'm standing around. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Alright, well, let's see. Kiyotaka. No, he died. Mondo. No, Mondo Butter. Uh, Sakia, don't look. Junko. No, don't look. Toko. Talk to Toko first. Uh, press the doorbell. After a few seconds. What's up, girl? Ah, the most negative aura I've ever felt. An aura of total decay. Nani? She didn't look like she was in a good mood. Obviously annoyed, Toko slithered out into the hall. What do you want? You said you wanted to talk to me about something. Toko, you'd be really cute if you didn't like stink all the time and dad didn't shower. She actually is pretty cute. Let's talk to I wanted to talk about the fact that Sakura had asked to meet you. No. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Bianca already told me she asked to meet with him. <laughs> what? She wanted to meet with Master too? Huh? Uh, I just said too, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> what is with the gurgling noise? I guess now it's totally obvious, huh? Yeah, pretty much. So can you tell me about it? <laughs> I admit, I did get the note. But I didn't go see her. I was so s scared, so I couldn't bring myself to go. Huh. Toko claims she didn't go see her, but can I really believe her? Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept it as fact. <laughs> Is that good enough? I'm going back to my room. 
But that took a quickly retreat into her room. Okay, all right, or who else am I? Hero. Why, where is Hero? So no, don't look at me, Sakura. Where, no, all these dead people. Ah. Okay, it's not good. I pressed the doorbell. So a few seconds. Nabe. What's up, Makoto? You need something? <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, actually, I just want to check something. It's about Sakura wanting to meet with you. <laughs> How did you find out about it? Uh, did you maybe gaze into my soul? Heavy special abilities awakened in you. <laughs> but, but that's not the only reason she wanted to meet with you. Ogre told me herself that she wanted Byaki and Togo to come too. What? When did Sakura tell you? Oh, oh, uh, well. She, well, she asked me to meet with her, of course. But didn't she write you a note? Yeah, uh, a note. She, uh. No, not the She gave it to me in person. And well, she happened to mention the others, like in passing. I gotta be honest, that is super suspicious. So then you went and met with Sakura. She did no, no way. I didn't. I totally didn't. Why would I ever do that? Yeah, definitely suspicious. Say... The last time I saw Ogre was when Hina got hurt. I took her to the nurse's office. <laughs> I haven't seen her since then. While I'm here, can you show me the note she gave you? <laughs> oh, um, do I still have it? Uh, let me see. Hero was feeling around in his pockets. Mama. Ah, sorry. Looks like I don't have it anymore. With a big goofy smile on his face, he pulled his hands out of his pockets. But when he did, I saw something flutter to the ground. Something had fallen in, out of the hero's pocket. Huh? Hmm? Uh. Ah! Ah! Quickly as the wind, hero snatched it back up again and shoved it back in his pocket. My, my. <laughs> Sorry, just a bit of trash I forgot to throw out. Trash? No, 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 Anyway, I can't deny that Okra asked me to meet with me. I never went. So, excuse me. Before waiting for a reply, Hiro quickly sit back into his room. Oh, I was gonna go rub one out. See, Makoto. Hiro said that was just trash, but there's no way that was all there. Ugh. Yeah, that's a candy wrapper. Okay, so I've heard from Toko and Hiro. Um, what next? Definitely have to go look at the actual crime scene again, but on top of that. Maybe I should find out more about the protein cam we found on the floor in the rec room. Sure, it must have come from the chem lab. So, where should I start? Why would I have to go investigate the crime scene again? Like, I already freaking went through that whole damn room. Uh. Alright, we're gonna go investigate the chem lab next time. 